The San Diego Rescue Mission is getting ready for their annual Easter meal on Saturday, March 23rd. Joining us to talk about the special meal is President and CEO of the San Diego Rescue Mission, Donnie D. Good morning, Donnie. Good morning. Got to get up early to hang out with you guys. Yeah, exactly. So tell me a little bit because this is amazing. You guys have done this for a number of years, but it has a very important purpose and it's more than just a meal. It is more than just a meal. We uh, have about 300 people that are sleeping in our building downtown. They are part of a rehabilitation program. They live with us for 12 months. We do three meals a day for them, so 900 meals a day. So we don't really feed the public. We're not a soup kitchen anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but we decided 20 years ago that on Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter, we'd open our doors and feed the public. And we do that for a couple of reasons. One, to celebrate the holidays. Two, because there's so many people living on the streets that are food insecure, that are homeless, that haven't had a meal, that haven't had a shower. And so Saturday is a big day for us. It gives us a chance to meet the needs of people currently living on the streets that are currently experiencing homelessness. Uh, they'll have the opportunity to get a haircut, a shower if they need to. And at one o'clock, they can sit down in our cafeteria uh, with live music. We turn it into a restaurant. It's just an incredible event. Super proud of our staff and all the hard work that they put into this. Yeah, this is a good way to get resources to those people and perhaps connect them to services that maybe they don't know exist. That's correct. We've had people that have come to our outreach meals and ended up uh, sleeping in a shelter that night. So mm -hmm. it does give us a chance to engage them. We consider this one of our strategic outreach initiatives. There's also medical care, there's pet care, there's a backpack, we give out blankets, there's a hygiene kits, there's all kinds of resources for them. Uh, if, if they can make it to uh, 120 Elm Street and participate in our Easter outreach meal. Wow, so that means, I mean, you guys have quite a few services that you're busy pre prepping this week. Uh, we have been uh, prepping for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, we'll start the meals on uh, cooking the hams and uh, those things uh, uh, later this week. But uh, super excited about our new community partner, um, the Transit System, Metropolitan Sa mm -hmm. Transit System has agreed to offer free passes, they call them flash passes, for anybody that, that is experiencing homelessness that needs a ride to our facility at 120 Elm Street. So the trolley, the buses, really pretty incredible. And uh, we've always felt like that homelessness is not a government problem to fix, it's a community issue to address. And if we can all do something, private and public, maybe we can change the state of homelessness in San Diego. And I know you guys have been working hard to reach more people throughout the county, so I'm sure that partnership with MTS as long as you're able to identify the people and get them to your facility, that'll help, right? Well, they'll have uh, passes. So it's yeah. an actual uh, pass with our information on the front uh, and, and a map to uh, the Elm Street. And all they do is show that to the bus driver or to the uh, uh, the person uh, that, uh, that they see at the transit center and they'll get a chance to get to our facility on Elm Street. Now, if people still want to volunteer, want to get involved, can they? We have about 115, 120 volunteers, and so we're all squared away on volunteers, but if you want to donate, certainly opportunities to donate. We have uh, some uh, po corporate partners like Mission Fed and uh, Premier Auto and, and Bumblebee, but uh, always looking for other donations. You can go to sdrescue.org. Um, backslash donate and uh, plenty of opportunities to get involved financially and we would greatly appreciate that. Yeah, because I know, I mean, in a lot of times, yeah, you're filled up for volunteers for this, but there are more events that are coming up if people want to get involved and obviously try to make a difference. Well, there's other opportunities to volunteer. We have a uh, shower ministry that, uh, that is out there uh, three or four days a week. We've got meals that need to be served downtown. Uh, hallways that need to be mopped. There's all kinds of ways to get involved. If this is a cause that is near and dear to your heart, we'd love to see you down at the mission. All right, Donnie D. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. Uh, this upcoming weekend, I, I feel like you have a lot of prep to do between now and then. We've got a few things to do between now and Saturday, but we'll be ready to go. All right. Always great to see you. Thanks you for too. coming in. Thanks a lot.